Drag out whores. No. Isn't it so sad that so many guys' dicks are small, soft? It's sad? Yeah. It's one of the world's you, biggest tragedies. It really is. It's what are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like when you see a really hot guy and you're like, oh, I want to see his fucking... It'd be so cool if he pulled his pants down and it was like huge, soft. But most, they, they do injections now. Oh, really? I think they're just saline, but they're, they're, they're filler. For your soft dick. Is your, is your dick not smaller when it's soft? It's smaller, but it's still it's still looking good. Oh, how sure. how's it looking? Mine, it's mine like, is not. How big's your dick? Hard. It's like eight inches. Okay. Yeah, mine 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 looks bad. Small. How small? I mean, soft. Small. <laughs> like I'll tell you this: when I'm at the urinal, it only I'm, looks big. You. I, 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 I go into sport mode. Uh, what is sport mode? Like it gets, it gets about. Yeah, like it retreats, like. Mm-hmm. Oh, like for aerodynamics. It is hilarious to see the difference between my soft penis and my hard penis. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, not to be like constantly talking about dicks, but I am like, when I'm peeing at the urinal, I'm, I could be like cupping it. It's still like dragging. It's like, I feel dragging. Big, yeah. Like it's like dragging off my hand. Wait, what? say that again. Like when I'm at the urinal uh-huh. and it's it's like it's like drooping off. I'm like, I'm like, this feels so fucking cool. Wow. I, okay, that's good. Have you ever thought about doing OnlyFans? If I had a good body, I would. Well, you could just keep your shirt on. You could be a stunt dick. They want. I told you. Whoa, that's, that's not so a bad true. idea. That's so true. Also, the vast like, majority of dicks in in uh, well, I guess you're doing gay shit, but I would ba- just be jerking. But you're also top. The vast majority of like the. The person with their dick out and and OnlyFans and porn, I feel like they don't their face, their body isn't being shown. Really? I wonder. Yeah. I hate the close ups. <gasps> Wait. So yeah, I was going to say, I wonder how we could like make you the stunt double. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like the guy fucking <laughs> is like has a full on six pack and then it just like really closes my dick. <laughs> it is a close. Yeah, like you just wear the top up. half of a green screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 somebody else. Yeah, they're like, whoa, this is this video is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Wait, so we were just in Denver. Yeah, that was incredible. It was. We had a great run of shows. Uh huh. We saw your dad. Right. You kept on alluding to the to well, my I was dad, just, and you keep we kept on saying penis. You kept on being like your dad. Well, yeah, because I went on stage with Colton's dad there, and I was like. I was like, I heard because Colton's dad's in a sling right now, and so I opened up my set being like, "Sorry guys, I heard there's a guy in a sling with a huge cock here." Yeah, <laughs> and that was fun. He goes, "Sorry, John." <laughs> Sorry, John, and your dad loves it. Yeah, no, that it's like even as a kid, my dad would be like, "Yeah, they called me Thumper." Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 like I, I was just like, yeah, dads love talking about their penises. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, he w- my dad was um, Jimmy Buffett, Parrot Man. What does that mean? Parrot Head? No. Cheeseburger in Paradise. Cheeseburger Ask in Paradise. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that means. Like a like a, a, a constantly sunburnt Hawaiian shirt, chilling. Yeah, like a alcoholic. Swifty. Like a Taylor Swift fan. Yeah, but Jimmy Buffett. I love that. And so, and Jimmy Buffett's whole thing was like, it's five o'clock somewhere, so you could start drinking now. Gotcha, gotcha. And wouldn't it be awesome if we were on a beach? Oh, I love that. It would be awesome if we were on a beach and we were drinking. Yeah. Then my dad was put. He put lemon in his hair to let make it lighter. I do that still. Sometimes. I thought you were gonna get a haircut. I know. Do you think I should? I think it looks yeah. kind of good today. I was gonna go shorter. It looks good. Uh, Wait, can I also say something? We were at a gay bar in Denver, and um, do you mind if I bring this up? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what you're gonna say? Who knows what you're gonna say? <laughs> well, we um, we were at a gay bar in Denver, which was with some of the ugliest gay men we've ever seen in our entire lives. And we went there twice. And we went because there twice. We were hanging. That's kind out of a with. thing, isn't it? Gay no. bars, they're either very ugly old fat gay men or they're everyone's hot. Well, so I actually yeah, we went to the other one. We yeah, to, yeah, but so, I feel like they never mix the two. Well, I was kind of feeling bad about you myself. You know why? It's because it, there's no there's no trade to be had. You know, that's a yeah. market. <laughs> that's sure. a market with different goods. You yeah. know, yeah, it's like yeah. you don't go to H E B if you're looking for hardware. 
right? But you go to you go to like uh, I know that there's no such thing as straight bars, but you go to most bars where most people are straight, and it's like it's a mix. And then you go to lesbian bars, it's it's, well, it's lis- lipstick lesbians. It's because and we're going to a gay bar to fuck, sure. right? If I wanted to go to a nice bar, I'd go to a nice bar with yeah. nice things. Yeah, but with I'm not nice straight people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be going there for that. But like, there's a the thing in Denver where they have like a a, a bigger queer scene. Mm. So we have like gay people, but they have like gay. They have more they alphabets. Have like pansexual. The, yeah, they have like yeah. different, and they want to go there to be uh, a group, an so, alphabet soup. Also, and like, I want to go there to fuck, mm. and that's the thing is you don't like when the out al- when the letters mix. Well, I'm just not mixing with the other letters. It's not even the I letters. You, it's, it's not even the letters. What's, what was the problem? Is there are two types the bisexuals. of bisexuals. There are t- no. We love <laughs> yeah. them. The, we love the bisexual guys. But there are two bisexual guys. Sure, yeah, right. women can go fuck themselves. But I uh, <laughs> yeah. but bisexual women are just attracted to attention. <laughs> yeah. Honey, all women are attracted to attention. <laughs> um, but uh, I am too, though. So it's like, who cares? But there are two different types of gay bars. There are gay guys, gay bars to have sex in, which all the hot guys are at. And then there are gay bars where men are there to build community. Right. And we were at one of the ones that was there to build community. Right. And I was kind of feeling like, oh, I actually felt like I looked really good this night. Yeah. And I did have three different really unattractive guys come up to me and ask me, like, what's up with you? And I was like, oh, God. But then Colton explained to me, like, that's what happens when you're hot. Was that a lie? That, that no, I, I probably that said ugly that. people yeah. will start hitting on you when you're hot. Everybody, not yeah, probably not that just everybody. Ugly no, hot people don't talk to other hot people. No, he was like, well, you no, were like, you were what, three cause, people's because we're usually introduced to each other. <laughs> that's actually so that's actually so, that's, that's, so that's actually that so amazing great. that that is so, that that is colton that is, that is amazing that's one of the greatest that, things anyone's ever i've said. ever colton that you. is incredible that really cool. we're usually introduced to each other by another hot person and it's true <laughs> there's no ugly in it's the mix so true. it's that is so that is the truest thing i've ever heard yeah. in my life yeah flip it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but you yeah, you actually did get my perspective made me feel better because he was like you were three people's i'm gonna say something tonight yeah, yeah, yeah. and Ooh. and i did realize i was like oh that is good even though i had to say to all of them like i have a boyfriend but um yeah i lie oh okay i say thank you so much God, you're being so nice. I, when people hit on me, I'm like, I'm like after comedy shows, when I'm like, you did great. I'm like, I appreciate that so much. You have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, I always try to gauge what they want, and if it's sexual, I usually go, I am so busy. I'm running this way. Yeah. Is the problem. Yeah. And so I have to run this way at the moment, but it's lovely to see you. Also, Colton was doing just for anyone to know the vibes. Colton maybe had a couple of drinks. Yeah. So I did drink uh, over this past month, kind of a lot. Did Every you, weekend. Is that okay? Oh. Is it okay? Every weekend. Pensacola, mm-hmm. New Orleans, mm-hmm. San Diego, mm-hmm. Denver. For sure. Um, <laughs> cool. the, the, you know, the dates have been a little iffy. I know Colton was maybe a little hiding it from me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was uh, ashamed because the word relapse was circling around everybody's lips. And, everybody's then I, <laughs> and then when I got to Denver, I said, we are on the same team. And whatever yeah. happens, I have your back. So I think now it feels a little bit more open and honest. I don't care. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah. here to support you. Yeah. But Colton was a little drunk at the gay bar and screaming to everyone who would listen and going up to random guys pointing at me and going, he is a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> I've never he seen was, it. I had to, I had to run. He's supportive. I had to, <laughs> run, I had to yeah, run. Yeah, that's the thing like, about me yeah. being an alcoholic. Was, no one was like, fun. yeah, no yeah. one was mad oh, about. I'm like running out of the bar. He goes, who likes big cocks? <laughs> he goes, because this guy right over here has one. And I just remember this one guy being like, I mean, I'm doing pretty well myself. And Colton goes, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was fun. Yeah, that's the the problem with me drinking was that I I only just went home sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like I I no one was like, "Oh god," and then Colton falls over. And no. That's yeah. the yeah, that's the worst part about drugs is the when they wear off and when you got to go home. Yeah. How it do we get rid of that part? It's, it's, home, and it's only the next fun if you morning. go home with someone and keep the excitement bo- going. No, because then even when there's been plenty of times where you wake up the next morning, and you're like, why did I bring this person here? Right. It's always no matter what. And now what it's a baggage shame. of a hangover and a person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't, have, I don't think I've had too many experiences where I'm waking up next to somebody. I'm always like, 
gonna skedaddle. Get him the oh, fuck you out of you v- travel. I tr- I was a traveler for a long time. A gypsy, You're a rambling. Gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> I was a, I was bit a of a gypsy, gypsy. <laughs> always yeah, moving from to town to town, from apartment to apartment. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was very much a. This is over. This is fine. I'm gonna go. But now that I host, I also, um, you know, no one's staying the night. Staying the night is more intimate than sex. Do you think so? Yeah. What about staying the night and not even having sex? Is that more intimate than having sex? That is like it depends. We're on not even getting close to that far. You know what I mean? Like that would be like we are da- we are actively dating. Really? Yes. Okay. If we were actively dating and you stayed the night and didn't have sex, I'd be like, I think. I'm married. No, no I, yeah, I think no, I think maybe you're mishearing me. I'm saying not even dating. Just come over. Who stay the is night doing that and not having? Sex. I've never done that in my life. Well, we never. do that and we don't have sex because we're friends, right? You know, no, that's, but, that's, I mean, but I've never. He's never you, stayed at my house, and I've never stayed. But at do his you guys house. like? Yeah, this but I weekend. would. I'd stay at your house. No, thank you. We have a guest bedroom. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys, yeah, when you guys are on the road, were you sleeping in the same bed? <laughs> no, I do that with my friends. With your guy, gay friends. I'm traveling a I'm little bit the same bed more. With Greg. Uh, I'm upgrading my stays as it goes. Colton's luxury when, you're, when he's on the road. It's I very just, much like we're going to the best gym in town. He wants to get massages. He wants to get facials. He's living clean. You. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, I feel like, you know, it takes so much out of you to travel. You got to pamper yourself along the way. We really had a lovely time. How much, like, you know, how, how well are your shows going to go if you're showing up like, ugh, well, that's what I don't understand. You hear comics talk about how they travel and how hard travel is and blah, blah, and all this stuff. I'm like, but if you're making like 30 grand a weekend, if these comics who are selling out. Most of them aren't. Mostly they're yeah. making like 1500 a weekend. No. Comics yeah. who have bigger followings. Okay. Who, who's the bigger following that you're talking about? I'm talking about people who like have a following. I, I relate with them just, but I think it's more of a personality trait on whether or not you like traveling. And I fucking hate traveling. Yeah, you guys bonded over not like traveling. But actually, traveling. I actually, I don't, no, I said I don't want to go to another country. But I, <laughs> but I actually do enjoy like going, like what, what we've been doing is like going, staying, yeah. enjoying our times. But if you're making like even five grand, I'm like, spend a hundred dollars on a massage. Yeah. In every yeah, city yeah, you yeah, go yeah, to. Yeah. That wouldn't change my mood on traveling. Why? It's the not being in my bed, in my apartment. See, yeah, that doesn't And, like, me. the consistency, because it just throws off my schedule. My eating schedule, my workout schedule, my sleeping schedule, like, everything. Yeah. And I like the consistency. We're not the same. We're not the same. Fine. I, and that's fine. I've, I'm chaos, and I like a little bit of chaos. But I then I can find... Chaos. You know, uh, 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 I can find a gym anywhere because I have, ins- well, oh, I don't have insurance anymore. Mm. What? Join the Chip team. got fired. Oh. Mm. Do you think it was because it, of the how membership? Crazy, you know, how crazy is it that he loses his job and I have to lose my insurance? That's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. I was thinking about how unfair that is. Yeah, it's like, what did Colton do? What if I had two I call, kids? I call the place and go, what did Colton do? <laughs> yeah. Uh, call can your he keep What did I do? Yeah. yeah. And it's I had like, and it, it, re- it relapses. It relapses in July 1, so I couldn't even see my primary care if I wanted to. Well, what's really fucked up is that you get kicked off your parents' insurance at 26. Yeah. I got we, kicked off at 20. Why? Because my family had like insurance through like a Christian organization that didn't. For some reason, thought Christians always saying they want to help lower. people and then cutting out the funds, cutting them yeah. off. Yeah, we had all those Christian guys at the show last night. Yeah, a lot of. Oh them. my god, this front row of literal beefcake guys were all Christians. They were the most boring people. Like they were so boring. They, but there was this one the guy. Else. Christians are so boring. They they suck because they don't even have good stories. The ugly, gross Christians. They had a rock bottom. They have right. fun stories. Oh yeah, but the ones that were just bred into. Like church and yeah. are like great looking and like play football and are they're boring. That's as exactly shit. who these people were. They yeah, were boring. As we shit. were both like, let us suck your cock. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. If anything, we were like doing a disservice to gay people because these Christians are not going to go back and be like, gay people are evil. You no, know? Well, I went back because I, I hosted the whole show. I yeah. didn't run, and uh, I asked them like their opinion on pussy, and they're like, 
I, I like all all of the things that's about the pussy. thing you and see those, like, those no, you people don't. and they're so good looking and then you like see their wives or their girlfriends and just the hottest women you've ever seen in your life and you know that they're having the worst sex of all yeah. oh yeah hot people are having the bad worst sex, sex they're ba- it's bad yeah. and you, you, you gotta you gotta fuck something up here mm-hmm to go like what? If, what are all, yeah, you all gotta, of our you options? You got to gamble a little bit. Yeah. Sex is like acting; you have to make a decision. Okay, you know so I, mean? I was thinking about this. Are you comfortable lying? Yeah, yeah. And what do you consider? And do you consider yourself an actor? Wait, what do you mean lying? Like you were like, I feel like you could go just lie to a stranger's face and yeah. have no problem with it. Not a problem. Now, if I give you. <laughs> What's wrong with lying? <laughs> not a stranger. What like, I, what's wrong? Wait, not what's a problem. Wrong? Yeah. No, no. What's wait, the, wait, 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 wait. Lying to a stranger, it's like, what do I owe them the truth for? Right, right, right. Now, do you think you could take those skills and go act? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. what would you want to act in? Can I tell you what my actual problem would be yeah. with acting? I would need to get over the embarrassment of acting. Like, I, the thought of, like, I think mm-hmm. what's, I think I'd actually be an incredible actor. I think mm-hmm. what my problem is, is that the the... The thought of trying in front of a set, yeah, that is humiliating to me. Mm-hmm. Like to be like, here we go. You know what I mean? It's that like, is the worst part. It's like trying to sing when you know you can't sing. And yeah. You're kind of like maybe everyone will be like, this is really good. And yeah, you yeah. Try for the first time. People are like, you suck. And you're yeah, like, yeah. that's so bad. But no, I can make myself cry. I tell sometimes I tell guys in line, my name's Cole. I'm going for it. In line, at the bathroom. No, online. Yeah, my, online. Oh, I think you're like, yeah, my name is Cole. I'm pissing. Just not shitting. I'm not pissing. <laughs> I don't shit in public. And then I lied. I was shitting. <laughs> uh, the first time I ever went on stage, it was kindergarten, and it was a school play, and the song was called O Tenenbaum. It was the Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. But we were doing it in German, and uh, my in mom Germany? made... No, uh, Christian school in California, and my mom made me like a Christmas tree outfit with just like the face cut out and it was a whole Christmas tree and she brought it out. And I was like, I'm not fucking wearing that. That's <laughs> fucking embarrassing. I'm not yeah. wearing that. And she like, she made it where like it had battery pack and it like lit up and it was like a full fuck. She spent hours on this yeah. thing. And I was like, that's embarrassing. And uh, the only way I'll wear that is if you make it into a ninja outfit where I can only see through the peoples. <laughs> so she remade it with a mask that I could only see through the peoples. And I was like, I'm still not wearing that shit. People will know that's me underneath it. And that's yes. not happening. So I, I sat that. in the audience while my friend Pono wore it. And I just remember looking like that poor bastard. <laughs> oh my God. That's yeah. Ba- yes. Yeah, so but what? I feel like I could, I could, perform now and if in fact i think that my acting skills i'd want to be more dressed up i'd want something to yeah. be like oh no i am a wizard 100 because if i had to act like this yeah i'd be like oh they're gonna know it's me yeah i mean i'm sure at some point i'll have a movie come out where i have to be the star of it because i wrote it like lena dunham yeah what and what's it gonna be it's gonna be about me okay so you're gonna play you yeah and you're gonna be comfortable lying about you yeah okay are you comfortable lying matt no I'm really bad at it. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess like I don't. Like, and I, would never and I actually, I just enjoy being honest. Yeah, yeah but to a Even stranger. It, yeah, more so to a stranger. I see. Yeah. Like, I'll tell you something. That the difference between me and Colton is, is that we're when we're in Ubers and people say, "What are you here for?" I would rather lie and just be like, I'm just like visiting friends. Colton's like, we do stand up comedy and we're doing shows, and I'm like, yeah. Oh well, I'll do that, but that's not like a lie that yeah, it is. hurts anybody. Yeah, but. No, that's all. a like a white lie. So when I say I'm a comfortable lying, I'm not like I'm not like lying to Colton. You right. know what I mean? Or lying oh, to you. Oh, you mean just like stuff strangers. like that? Yeah, yeah I'll that's do. lying. Sure. I'm not. A, I don't have friends in Denver. I'm I here choose to do shows. the most yeah. fun option. I it, it doesn't matter what what the lie is. I go. This will be the most fun to play with. Right now, I mean, I'm con- there's probably like seven guys I'm talking to right now that think I'm bisexual and want to have a threesome. Now that's a different lie than a, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's a different lie than telling the Uber driver that. But you it's do, a fantasy. I'm building a fantasy. <laughs> yes, I'm building, building a, a whole fantasy, world. A world where I'm gonna fuck their girlfriend that's and they're gonna not watch. A white lie. The de- telling Is all these a dudes a lie? fake name. Is that a big yeah, lie? Kind of, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Actually, no, it's yeah. catfishing. You're yeah. catfishing. Yeah, catfishing. Oh, I'm like, what I look like. I'm sorry, cat. By the way, if catfishing is lying, if yeah. he's kind of one of the worst ones, and I'm attracted ones. to her, I would have sex with them. <laughs> with no, we you said this last night. I know. 
<laughs> he said he's the type of bisexual where the, the your he, wife you're bisexual. I'm now? bisexual in the way that if your wife wants to watch me suck your dick, I'll let her. That's not bisexual. Yeah, like, and I'm bisexual in the way that I'm gonna ask your wife to, to leave, leave. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm gonna be like, why is she crying? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, I do think there's something hot about a guy. Whatever. It doesn't Can matter. I tell you some fun facts? Yeah. Okay. So, I was, do you, are you a fan of Cinderella? Yeah. So, do you know why she's called Cinderella? Yeah. Why? From the Cinder from Cleaning. Yeah. And they're like, Cinderella, you fucking dirty bitch. Yeah, but in the original uh, story, she was she had so much soot on her face that she was basically in blackface. And the, that's why the prince couldn't tell it was yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. Like, Who's this dirty bitch? No, that's exactly to, yeah. why. That's so funny that in the original they were like, "What if they're like, we don't even have to get her a dress? What if we just gave her a shower?" <laughs> <laughs> no, that's exactly right because it was you know, 1500s Germany. I know they love people love those fairy tales. It's like get over it. Yeah, you're not you know? you're not her. You're, you're not, not her. Hey, you're not her. There is nothing more embarrassing to me than a girl who gets proposed to at Disney, mm, and like I hate that I, shit. And, the, and you know what? Neither of them ever are hot. Thank you. They're fucking disgusting. They are pigs. always disgusting. It, they're always like, every single time. Okay, where's the hottest and the guy? And sometimes you see a hot girl. It happens to when her like pig boyfriend mm-hmm. who's like absolutely. But she's disgusting. she. It, they're there for her, and she's severely autistic. She's just attractive. That's what I feel when I see them. Yeah. Uh, like, she loves princesses, but it's kind of like a... It's, it's She's broken inside. Yes. Yeah, and that's and why she she's with she him. she thinks she is a prince. Yes. S. Yes. Yeah, yeah. but not, auti- uh, not all autistic people are broken. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean... <laughs> no. 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 And for the record, I didn't say that. And I also didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that bitch that you're talking about is broken. <laughs> <laughs> and her brain's all scrambled. Oh my god! I didn't even tell you this. When I when we were in Denver, I went to Boulder to go visit my friend from Massachusetts. Who was living there. It was so nice to see her. And we went for a little hike. And on the top of the hike, these two <laughs> pigs got engaged. <laughs> pigs. <laughs> these literal disgusting looking god people. Bless. And, <laughs> and then we watched. We watched a proposal happen. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like. Oh, there's a moment in the movie where everybody claps and and Dylan's over there, yuck. (laughs) Well, it was funny because I ran it. We were walking and we were standing. There was this old man sitting there. We started talking about being from Massachusetts and he was like, where in Massachusetts are you from? I was like, oh, you know, the Berkshires. He's like, yeah, I'm from Boston. Yeah, this place is the real place, though. You know, everyone out here is really nice. They're back here, back home is disgusting. You know, like, you're yeah. talking so much. He's like, hey, can I tell you a joke? And he's, like, telling us jokes while they're getting engaged, being like, I don't know. I fucking love Denver. I, I love it out here. It was so funny because, like, this nice, these people were literally, he's on his thing. And this guy's just, like, talking shit the whole time. Everyone's like, stop. He's proposing. We all looked over and, like. She had like red hair in the way that it was like dyed, like oh, like you know, it's like it was like whatever. And she was wearing a white dress, and then she kept being like, "I can't believe this is happening." She was wearing a white dress and couldn't believe it's happening. Well, yeah, and she goes like, "Oh," and she said something that was so sad to me, which was like, she was like, "Oh my god," well, like we were at the waterfall earlier, so I was like, "Oh, it's not happening today." And I was like, "There's something just so sad about like waiting to be proposed to that yeah. I'm like, it's just." So sad. You know, like when you yeah. got proposed to. <laughs> did you what? see it coming? Did you see it coming? No, I. That's not how we did it. It was a total surprise. Yeah, no. Well, you're like married in a way that it's like, are you married? Right. Legally, I know you are. We but are. Was there any tradition whatsoever? Zero. I think we 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 had a conversation that was something along the lines of like, oh, if we can do the pandemic together, what is the other thing we can't do? Like, we were in a pressure cooker. So like, what else? If you can't get over that, then, you know, probably shouldn't be together. But if you can, you know, maybe w- can you think I was like, can you think of anything that we can't get over? And we're just both like, Marriage. no, I guess. So, and then so I was like, all right, so should we do it? And he was like, yep. And then we're like, all right, well, uh, we'll call the tax guy, our tax man and tell him we're filing jointly. I actually hate that too. <laughs> I kind of hate that. I don't like that. I'm like, I, I, that. I need, I don't want to be on the top of a mountain. I also like with her fa- friends and family there, and they're like, oh my God, this is like the best day of Michaela's life. It's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, That's, it's just like yeah. so sad to me, but that is also like devoid of anything romantic, which right. I also hate. 
I mean, we don't, we kind of, it's like we've always treated holidays like, you know, why are you celebrating this one day when you can celebrate every day of your life? Also, there's just something about a public <laughs> proposal that to me is so. I really hate public proposals. It's like if I, I'm not even joking, if I was dating someone and with that being said, I've never been in a relationship, but if they proposed to me in front of like my friends and family, I'd be oh, like. Oh, well, friends and family, I, I I'd like, be like, get no, up. I like the get idea off of, your fucking of me. <clears throat> surprise, like, because, you know, I'm the guy, I would obviously be the one proposing, like getting her f- parents to like fly in. Okay, yeah. traditional. And like the surprise. I like that, but not like at fucking Ruth's are Chris. You, you know? Are you going to have a. Does that mean because Are you going to have a conversation beforehand? Yeah, so? yeah, you go talk to her dad. Yeah, I can I buy I, her. I, like I, I kept on I kept on I saying like that, that to Chip like, did you even talk to my dad about this? Yeah. <laughs> I do I do like that idea of like showing up at their house. Wait, because I'm the know top. But I also have to propose. Yes, and actually no, most yeah. often it's the bottom that does it. Really? They proposes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's some so some well, stats so on it. There's, there's so some needy. stats on it. They're like they feel less than, so they they usually the the one who like organize things. Wow. I don't really Tops are really they, they don't have to do anything. They don't have to like clean their hole or prepare for anything. So yeah, we sure. have to, they deal, have to, we have to deal with the emotions at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. They just have to get hard and come hard. <laughs> I love like, hey, hey, come hard. Yeah. Um, where's the hottest place you can get married? I mean, proposed to. Like destination, I would, cool a cool picture, something in the, the background. Thing, to me, none of that matters. I would much rather you like and because somebody was shift shitting on me for liking gifts the other day. I think it was you. No, it wasn't. I think that's amazing that you like gifts. <laughs> I love gifts. gifts. But I that's think your langu- but love my language. love language is gifts. is gifts. But it's not that I like presents. I like that you know me so well yeah. that you know that this thing like it's nostalgia baked into one so little you have like to say, object. Though, this is very important. You like good gifts. Yeah, bad gifts suck. There are In people fact, that say that they like like I like giving gifts and they give bad gifts. Oh my god. What's your love language? I, hate that. Um, I don't know. Quality time. Okay. If you give me a bad gift to go, oh you hate me. Mm-hmm. How do you show love? I like giving gifts. Yeah. I, I but I should get better at it. Yeah. I don't think that I'm very good at it, but I do like when it's a good one. It's a skill. Those are cool. That's fun. And then what's you, how do you show love? I kind of just show up. So like quality time. I'm yeah. also acts of service. I'm acts of service and words of affirmation. Hmm. Acts of service? I, yeah. You like to get like acts I, of service? No, no, no. Like I give acts of service. And what do you get? Like, I don't really know. I've never been in love. But I... <laughs> now, are compliments words of affirmation? Yeah. yeah. I think that that's what I like. Yeah. To get. I'm very good at compliments. Yeah. I think that it takes so much for me to like break out of my self and my little bubble that if I'm sharing quality time, it's like, you are really lucky. Yeah. yeah. I would much rather be at my house right now. Yeah. Do you want to get married? Yeah. Really? Yesterday. Whoa. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 I, God, is no one an artist anymore? <laughs> With two artists breaking the mold Wait, together. That, that's the, that's the new thing. I'm finally in the age of we're, we're actually trying to find a like a specific person we as in me like oh like like a person that compliments and not just someone where we you know trauma bond two dates in and have sex like a like a like a oh we compliment each other we have a good time you are also an artist you understand what i'm doing i I'm understand what you're doing that's right. the kind of that marriage not marrying anybody just right. like marrying the right person i'm having this fomo of like what you just said. How is are you like, going to find them? No, not that. Because I actually want question. that as well. But I, what I, what the FOMO that I'm having is kind of like, I didn't get to have that like 21 year old intense toxic love. Yeah, but you did have a toxic love. But I didn't have it in like a real way. You know what I mean? So I am like sad that I'm like, I can't do it now. I'm like 30. You can. I, I know. I didn't have mine until No, no, no it's like I know better. You know what I mean? It's like not drinking. Oh, it's sure. like I know that like I have a problem with drinking. But you don't so actually know better if you haven't done it. You don't know better because I thought that I also knew better, and then it f- happened at twenty-seven. Yeah, yeah. So it could you're still gonna happen. get tricked. I no. mean, maybe not, <laughs> but if Wait, it does why? happen, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm really and wanting- then and you're gonna and we're all gonna be like, this isn't healthy. We're like, why don't they yes. know me? Yes, I, and you're gonna go, yeah. why? Yeah, okay, dude. why can't they see what I see? Okay, yes. so that's happened. That's yeah. happened. That's happened. <laughs> Well, but it hasn't if you That's, weren't in a relationship. I mean, it was, you know, it was a really toxic. It was a really complicated situation. But yeah, they didn't insert. 
It's really the only thing that's keeping you together is the good sex. <gasps> Everything I else have not is had that. bad. I have uh, not had that. Yeah. Or, or codependency. Trauma bonding. Uh, yeah. Is thing you know what I will about. say? Now that yeah. I am almost 30, I am not into trauma bonding. The minute that someone starts like being like awful in their trauma on me, it actually pushes me away. I'm like, you're unhealthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I go, oh, you're trying to make me your your savior and i am not i know I'm like you're trying like like all of a sudden a wound's coming out. you're trying to connect to me and i'm like it's not happening i'm not gonna <laughs> yeah. I, i'm like no i will a block like i don't want that mm-hmm. but i would like to meet someone i also i want to ask you this i have two questions for you okay and you can answer this as well sure one do you think that i'm intimidating okay no right no but what if no. you only saw me on stage yes um yeah, intimidating in the way of like uh, I feel like if I if I fuck this man, it, it, there's gonna be a story about it that he's gonna tell for years on stage, like that kind of intimate. Like it would be intimidating yeah. to and I, but I think that all, all uh, most comedians have this issue of like a girl or a guy sees them and is like, I think that person's really funny and attractive, but I'm afraid that if I fuck up at all in in a relationship or in in a hookup that I'm going to become a joke. So I don't want to do it. Yeah. The problem with what's happening right now, Matt, is that uh, you're not on camera. So (laughs) if you're, if you want to come sit in the middle of this, that's fine. Should I just come sit up (gasps) at this point? Now this feels very casting couchy. Stop. Are you guys going to try to fuck me? Do you want no. that to happen? <laughs> no, no, I'm going to join. That, uh, you oh get her from behind. Wait, I'll come so, from the front. Wait, my second question is. Here's the problem. If I come up there, I can't. I can't. I can't. Listen. Do this. What are you doing? Are you it's pushing a lot of buttons over there? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like how good that question was. You look so scared. Come over here. Wait, and so my second question is, because I'm the top and because I'm six foot five, do you think I have to be the one to start asking guys out? Uh, how are you going to ask them out? Hey, let's role play. Okay, but but can you answer my question first? Are you intimidating? I think I might be a little intimidating. Well, the thing about okay, you're you gonna, am I intimidating is, or am I ugly? No, it's not that. The thing about you is <laughs> you way, are I, so opinionated on stage that you would. I would. I think the uh, intimidation is like I would hate to be the the bad opinion, which is crazy because off stage I have like no opinions. <laughs> Yeah, right, 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 right. Wait, but do you have an opinion about the orcas right now? What happened with the orcas? Nothing. Um, <laughs> wait, but here's a question for you: Do you think because I'm six five and I'm the top that I have to start asking guys out? Um, yeah, I, I can't believe you haven't already been doing that. So you don't, no, I you don't never, ask, aren't you? I've doing never that? had male friends, so I don't know how to hook up. I don't know how to like meet people. What? You guys all what? like you guys all like went out. Oh, I see. And like taught each all, other like how yeah. to do those. All things. All of your friends were, were girls, women. so they were always getting asked out. Yeah, and I was just with them in straight bars for years, <laughs> so I sense. never learned. It's like when you like in fourth grade, I missed like how to spell like the there, there, and there. So like mm-hmm. now I struggle with it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> you know what I You're mean. You're one like, of those. Uh, yeah, I missed that day. So like yeah. for years, it took me forever. And now I know, but right. it took it took fifteen years. We were yeah. actually and at the gym, and he goes, "Oh my god, that guy's so hot. That guy's so hot." And I go, "Just ask him where." the rowing machine is uh-huh. and so he goes no you you do it as he's coming up and go hey do you know where the rowing machine he goes yes yeah, over there there's only two though and then he goes okay <laughs> bye i don't know how to talk i don't know how okay, to talk bye. to men i also <laughs> think maybe i think my energy's off what does that mean i think i'm closed off um all right okay i don't know how to help you man i think i'm right there with you okay i i also don't know how to talk well i don't know how to talk to women in the same way you don't know how to talk to men. Yeah. Colton. I think you do. Col- Col- oh, wait, I'm the conduit. What no, do you guys Colton, want? Colton's a hot woman. <laughs> yeah, um, walk around. Colton's like, I'm so sorry I'm married. I can't go out with you. We wa- what we want we what we want is a passing acknowledgement that you're interested. And then they can latch on if they want to. But you need to be bait. You don't need to be the predator. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be the predator. Yeah, right, right, right. We need to be bait. Yeah, you need to be bait. And so you walk up, you go like, hey, and so like, oh, they're approachable. They, they're interested in talking. Mm. But but you could. So the question that you ask has to be a passing interest or just a very direct like, hey, can I buy you a drink? And then they can be like, no. And usually even if I want them to have it, if I want them to be around, I'll say no because they're too direct. But if they're like, hey, do you know where the bathroom is? Bitch, you know where the fuck the bathroom is. What but I'm showing that I'm open to what talking. What about like, I like your shirt. Thanks. 
We're gonna have a good night. You too. That was not. That was bad. That actually. That was bad. That was bad. Mm-hmm. Wait, what should if I? If you're do? walking past and go, "Ooh, nice shirt," I go, "Okay, okay, wait, wait." What where did he go? What if I walk by? Yeah, I go. You go. Where did he go? Hold digged. So, but, but see, I feel like that. I thought that that was how gay dudes talk to each other. Digged. Yeah. You said dig. I'm like, it's Doug Moron. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if you said, hey, nice shirt and kept walking, I'd be like, where did he just go? What if I just keep going and I go like, surprisingly, I'm the top. <laughs> I, I'm i shocked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shook it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that's why you make the rounds. You go by, you go like, hey, you, you get compliments as you walk. You know what the, the real circle? problem is? Is I don't drink. And now the only time I see meet men are at comedy clubs and they're all straight. Mm. You got to go. You got to yeah. start doing other stuff. Like going, do things that you you're have interested to do things. in. Go, go to like, know. What, what do you do? do? You do? Like go to shows. I've started going to shows. Like music shows? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have actually um, been doing that as well. I've... Uh, the, most of the dates I've been going on have been on dating apps, but they've been like, uh, again, more pointed. Like, do we actually have something in common? Not just you're hot. Let's go to a coffee shop and let me hear about your ex. You know? Yeah. Which is bad. Like, coffee that's, that's shops what they were these days for a are, long time. It's a bad move. Do you think I should stop having sex before marriage? <laughs> yeah. Talking? Before? I think, yeah. <laughs> I think I think you should stop having sex before marriage. I think you need to get baptized. I think you need Jesus. I would love and to get dunked on a lake. <laughs> yeah. I would wearing in all lake, white. Did like you say dumped? Dunked. Oh, He's okay. a dug. Dug in dug, a lake. Dug. <laughs> <laughs> get dug in dipped, a lake. Honey, dipped in dunked. <laughs> trying to get digged dipped out in, in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> By the pastor, I'm like, dick, dick me down in the lake. Yeah, you're down there in the water. You're just holding his balls, yeah. just like a couple. I mean, that would be so hot. And he's like, the Christ is fucking, the whatever. The Christ is fucking compelling <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'd have sex with a pastor. So wait, I even though again, like I don't think I'd have had sex with I would not have sex with a Christian, but if he was a pastor, I think I could I could accept the power dynamics. I would suck a Christian's wow. dick. Wow. Yeah, I have. Same. In fact, there's a guy down in Bastrop who has the largest penis in the entire world, and he's like, "So what if I'm gay? I could still be Christian." I'm like, "Yeah, technically." Mm-hmm. Dudes with huge dicks love to be Christian. <laughs> I actually think that the more likely you are to be Christian, the more likely you are to be like super fertile because like evolution, there's like always, always trying to breed each other. Mm -hmm. But also in straight culture, people talk about big dicks all the time, but it's actually like not huge. Like people, you actually don't women not want that. Yeah. Women hate it. Hate having a big dick. Yeah. Women hate. Is that something you struggle with? Big penises. (laughs) They hate that shit. There is an upward limit. I'm sure there is. And I, I think it, I think it's eight inches. I think y'all's upper limit has to be smaller because no, of butt it's, sex. A, it's the other way around. You you can put more dick in a butt than yeah, you can. That's just vast. Honey, like it's nothing but intestines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, see, we don't have a vaginal wall, but it's tighter. So they're not. I do. They're not. I do. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we don't have a butt? cervix. I go, stop, you're hurting my we, cervix. We, yeah, we don't you have a cervix. You got surgery, you got a vaginal wall <laughs> yeah, put into yeah. your butt. I go, yeah, 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 I'm a cis man with a vaginal wall. Yeah, yeah so our, th- <laughs> our, th- our butt can stretch forever. My vaginal she has wall a vaginal, vaginal of, wall. But I'm saying the tightness. My vaginal wall is so the you guys, you guys, you guys don't like width. No, I love I mean, width. It depends. No, he doesn't. Well, you, it's, we're not talking to you because you are a top. But I'm actually an oral bottom. We're actually... <laughs> We're not I talking like to you because you're a top. I'm an oral. I'm an oral bottom. Yeah, yeah. His mouth. What? His mouth. But is that a thing? I'm do tops mouth. usually not uh, suck dick? No, they do, and it ruins the whole movie. Yeah, I know. Does it? I feel you that don't way. like it? I, I always p- scrub past it because I'm like, what is he doing down there? Oh, I do feel that way about hooking up with bisexual guys when they want to have like full on anal sex. And I'm like, God, you're gay. Yeah, you know. it, oh, that's so homophobic of me. Is it? It is. I'm not. I know, and I'm thinking that because some gay guy did call me a bigot on our uh, on our page uh, this week. Mm-hmm. Because it, I mean, typically if he's with you, he's probably getting enough topping where he's coming from. You know, for so sure. you're the moment where he like bottoms maybe once a year. But like, I guess when I'm attracted to a bottom, it's not like a bisexual dude. 
it's like a. I, I'll be honest. It, maybe this is mean to say, but like I just I do don't so much. I have to do so much math while you guys. Talk. I just don't think that about. I just, just <laughs> I have no. I just don't think a bisexual guy knows how to fucking clean himself properly. Right. And it's gross to me that I'm like you're gonna like a guy who fucks in bottoms all the time. I'm like you know what you're doing, yeah. and we are gonna have a great time oh, because you sure. are cleaned out, ready to go, and can take it. But like a bi guy who's like not fucking that much probably doesn't know how to fucking clean himself out, and it's gonna be like it hurts. How do you like, clean no yourself shit, out? <laughs> how do you how do you clean yourself out? That's a good uh, question. A lot, for of, a lot of different ways. It but depends. what's the way to do, like? I I have a feeling that a lot of those ways are like something that. Uh, you have to like go to a place to get done. No, <laughs> you, you just do it. You have to be like, it, oh fuck, the enema place is closed. It, de- I thought that it depends. It really depends on how long, how big, how long you're trying to have sex, how big his dick is, and what you ate, and how how what you ate, and how many times you're looking to get fucked. Because uh, you can clean out like your sphincter is like this, and so like you really only need to clean out like. Th- four, three inches in there and then at that point if the water gets up past the other thing then you're fucked and you're gonna be there for an hour does that make Cleaning sense it out for an hour mm. yeah so you're just you're just putting water up there basically to clean it out yeah and now, you're just, there's no like brushes or anything i'm not chimney no sweeping i don't my think asshole. i don't think so but i'm I, not chim chimney chim chimney chim chim chimney chim, chim. <laughs> <laughs> but so you're just putting water up there until it starts coming out clear yeah I, w- exactly. I would honestly rather to go. I'd rather have to, like date a trans man, than do that. Yeah, I just don't like shit. Is that crazy to say? No, I don't think it's crazy. I don't think it's crazy. I know. But it is what butts do. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. but it like does suck that our only option. Have you ever I, been I, with I, a trans I, man? I've said that on this podcast no. multiple times. Yeah, I really hate it for you guys that. All you have is butt sex, because no, he has. He's he's actually mostly oral. We we did the ma- oh. we did the math. I we did the math on him one day, and it's yeah. like only oral. I, Statistically, I've it's only had only sex oral. with two guys. Full on. Are yeah. you serious? Sorry, this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. this but, year. But then oral like fifth, sixty. Yeah, I'm like that too. Though. I said that uh, with the episode that we did, we did an episode with somebody, and you fucking made it out like I was a crazy person. Well, I'm ashamed. Who, who is it? <laughs> I can't remember who it was that we did an episode with, but I said the vast majority of women I've hooked up with, it's just been oral. Yeah. And I've only had sex with, I think at this point, like seven or eight women. Which like is the millennial women. average. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. And if, you, no, if you're six. looking for your one, yeah, that's it. Eight. And apparently the upper limit, the average upper limit, for both men and women, like the number that you hear where you start to get red flags is 10 for straight couples. Oh, straight couples. Yeah. Yeah. You guys don't fucking. I know. wonder what our. I don't think a gay person could say Cares. a number that they I would care. be like. That's a lot. Maybe a thousand. If they said a thousand and only because I'm like, do you count it all the way up to a thousand? Yeah. The the red flag would be that you've counted that many people. Yeah, I would. Yeah, anally is it's just a lot of work too. Well, I think for you guys it doesn't really matter because you're not when you hear the other person's number, you're not taking procreation into account. I think that's why we would care, like especially as a guy, because like, it's like you like if the number was like forty for yeah. a girl, it's like you gave that many guys an opportunity to put a baby inside you. So you're saying you're red pilled. So, <laughs> so you're, you're, you're saying it's not just me though. You're this saying that she's probably barren. No, no, no. That you rolled the dice. That like it's a decision making thing. It's like you. It's a. It's like a lapse in moral judgment. If you let that many guys try, uh huh. You know what I mean? But, but they like, weren't. But, but they should not, be more you Christian. Christian? But, they're not, Christian? but they're not. They're not trying to have a baby. They're I just, know they're not. But there's always the the opportunity, the chance that it happens. No, because she was on the pill. I'm P- plenty of plenty of people have pill babies. Oh there's no pill, there's nah, no pill babies. You're scaring me. <laughs> Why? You're scaring me. You're, just, you, you're <laughs> homophobic. I don't give a <laughs> Dylan, you need to come to grips with your homophobia. I think I think you're I think you, you like heterosexual women more than I do, and I think that I like gay men more yeah, than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, also I think that I'd be more in, interested in having more anal sex if I was in a com- like relationship with a guy. Mm-hmm. I'm fucking strangers, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Randos, as Colton would say. Yeah. yeah, and that's fun if you're seeing them regularly. But like, you know, sometimes they're like the first time you're coming over, you think I'm gonna fucking pound you out. It's like mm. I don't even know you. I'll suck your dick, but like. Mm. 
I just I think. God, why is this care. whole podcast about? Why is it that's, always? That's kind of what I was. I was going through like, the same thing. And all I was we like, do we, is we, this yeah. conversation every week is about like I suck cock. We like to fuck. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's I like, I oh God, yeah. What else? Well, I brought up the orca thing. You didn't know about it, which is crazy. What's going on with the Are you pro or anti orca? Pro, pro. I'm pro. pro. Right, for sure. But they're also like, I was just listening to a marine biologist talk about it, and they're like, it's like literally, it's just them playing. They're teenagers. There's a full year in 2017 where like these orcas would kill these huge salmon and just like wear it on their head. Yeah, they do that for like, that's a so for kill. a year. That's so yeah. it's a it's amazing. But they're they're just like fucking around. They're like, hey, what if we did this? I wait. Well, yeah, what are the orcas doing right now? You got something in your mustache. They're they're taking off the rudders on people's boats. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> well, it's and also the boats sinking are like some sinking. people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you know what? We shouldn't be in the ocean. Yeah, I'm kind. Of, that's kind of where where I'm at. It's it's like they're also aren't are, are we figuring out? But that you guys don't like, like a boat. They're so smart. They're acting crazy though because of sonar, right? That's what. Okay, so this is actually What's a sonar? wild a Thornberry's. Like the, this is a wild Thornberry's uh, plot. Remember all the oh, is it? yeah, all the whales are fucked up, and it's because the teenage girls' uh, radio was at the bottom of the ocean. Mm. I love. Well, that the is wild true. That, that's the, they've they find out that a, the a lot of like whale beachings and like dolphin migration is because of sonar. Because they're getting, a, they're moving away because this, the sonar, the subs are in up their, deep water yeah. and it fucks up their sonar. And so they try to get away and that's why a lot of beachings happen. And there's been a lot of videos that have come out recently that I've seen on Twitter of like massive groups of dolphins like being in very shallow water and like rivers and shit trying to get away from sonar. Because it hurts their ears? Yeah, it hurts Yeah, their like ears. fucks with their whole communication you stop system. hurting the animals. Yeah. You're pro, so, so anti-gay, pro. pro animals. Okay, <laughs> I'm not anti-gay. I'm just like everyone's so boring. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Am I wrong? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I, I mean, but you you're the one who doesn't want to learn new things. I don't. I, I that's a bit. No, it's not though, because every time I say a new thing, you're like, "What's that?" <laughs> is, uh, that's me asking, "What is that?" Mm-hmm. Okay. Which I'm asking. Educating. You don't know things. It's not he, like you're boring. He specifically refuses. He does like I don't want to know the news. I, I think don't the news know. is toxic, but I I know things. What do you know? You didn't even know about the orcas. Yeah, the orcas I'm is emotional. like everyone's talking. Everybody's about the talking about the orcas. I'm emotionally Everyone. intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm emotionally intelligent. All right, so t- so teach us some emotional things. What about the Titanic sub? Did you keep up with that? I did hear about that. You think I those guys were fucking down there? No. You think that's why they were going down there? That would be so hot to fuck down. To fuck that, that sun. sun. Yeah. No, everyone well, the se- well, the su- stepson was not in the the tank. No, but the son, the Pakistani guy's son was. Oh, right, 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 right. The nineteen year old. Yeah. It's it's a very sad situation. You think they were taking that young man down there to dig him out? That's amazing. Could Actually, okay, that'd be that'd like, be my ideal. Like right where Rose I also got would be like. Out. By the way, I'm being how really far do we because have to like go? if Colton was offered to be on the submarine, he would have been on there. Would you? Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't have done it. See, I wouldn't have either because we don't like travel. But <laughs> yeah, we don't like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very sensitive that to the subject. Far and away, the most nightmarish travel situation <sighs> imaginable. I just don't believe in putting it. Like there are certain things you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to be at the bottom of the ocean next to the Titanic, and you're not supposed to be in space. And those are two things that you're not supposed to be. Yeah, and I follow the rules. I'd go to space too. Like if Richard Branson was like, "Hey, you want to go to space? I'll cover the four hundred fifty million uh, thousand. No problem. I'd go. Really? Yeah. I guess I would too. I would go to space before I'd go see the Titanic. I'll Same. tell you that much right Same. now. Same. Because guess what? There's not animals in space. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, that is pretty a crazy thought that it was like a giant fucking squid that came down and just fucking latched and just like made the pressure yeah. too much. Well, that so that they happened? found out. No, yeah, that's what happened. A giant squid. <laughs> a giant squid squeezed it. They're, they did find out, though, that what happened was when you take something that's pressurized like that submarine and you get it that far down into the ocean, the pressure of the water becomes so much that they they reached a point that sub reached a point in the water where the pressure was so much that in three thousandths of a second, like in point zero zero three milliseconds, the entire submarine crushed into the size of a basketball. And when that happened, the temperature on the inside of the submarine was hotter than the surface of the sun. And that's how they died. 
Guys, but they didn't feel anything. No, they, they didn't, didn't feel, feel anything. Thing. And they actually, our Uber thing. driver was like, damn, fuck that shit. That's not how I'm dying. I want to know I'm dying because have you ever seen the movie Ghost? <laughs> that was <laughs> He's great. like, I'm not trying to be at the bottom of the ocean trying to fucking find my Whoopi Goldberg. To <laughs> yeah, yeah, that he was <laughs> he tried to do pottery. <laughs> that actually is the best way to die. Not uh, a blink of a second. You yeah. don't even know. I want to see that happen. Do you believe in ghosts? Because are they at the bottom of the ocean? Just like, fuck, I can't even haunt anybody. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're Where are together. they on the Titanic? Do you think they're ghosting people on the Titanic? They're down there with everyone that died on the Titanic. Yeah. No, they're, I don't they're with that, that Irish family that was reading the book. <laughs> they're with everybody. They're with the fucking violence. Wait, the players. book was it? Was it the Bible? Maybe. No. <laughs> Do you really? remember that in Titanic when the boat is sinking and and I think it's Rose is trying to get out of the the living quarters yeah and she walks by that one room and it's like two kids and and two and their parents and they're like there's like water up to their stomach and they're just reading a book to their kids like oh well we're they're fucked. saying they're saying like we're gonna die because the poor they let all so the they're just like die. Reading yeah but what time. book was it i don't know it was it, it was, was like the bible it was the wi- it was the <laughs> it wizard was the of bible. Oz. <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 could you imagine reading yeah. the, like we have two choices the bible or a fucking Peter Rabbit. Yeah, it was <laughs> like, ca- it was I'm not and the dying le- reading Peter, <laughs> Rab- Peter and the Rabbit. <laughs> You're just reading the I'll art of this. war I to thought- your kids. <laughs> I think that's so what you said. <laughs> they got very lucky in the sense of how they died because it'd be way worse if they just like all drowned to death. Well, yeah. I mean, the way Jack died is worse than anybody on the ship. No, he no, had, no. He, di- he, he died. He froze to death in the water. Right. Uh, yeah, but but if you, I've been doing a lot of cold plunges. It's not that bad. You actually feel incredible after you get that cold. Like the, the endorphins in your body start to make you like he was probably a fucking rock hard in there. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, he was like, yo, he's like, whatever. He's like, yeah. this bitch is hot as fuck and that, I'm feeling good. That's yeah. why like, he was talking nonsense. Like, I'll be with you forever. I love yeah. you so much. Like, like basically at that temperature, it's like Molly. Yeah. And he's just like, he's just in the water and then he died and then she just said like, Bye. Yeah. And he I just don't understand why she didn't move over a little bit. I hate when people bring this up. I have, they I have tried to, to get him on there. <laughs> it, they would drown. Like, it's like every time it's like, no. yeah, it wouldn't work. They well, I, watched I the have, movie I have like, a feeling that that's not how it actually happened. Well, it right, didn't actually because happen none of it was, happened wasn't because true. she didn't exist. Rose and Jack are not oh, real. Oh, sure, but like that, something like that certainly happened to oh. thousands of people that jumped off that boat. Sure, but Titanic, that, I mean... The, what really happened is so sick. Okay, go ahead. I mean, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I just feel like that'd be the worst way to die. Wait, wait, sorry, you said the word sick, so I didn't know what you meant. If it I meant like sick in the sense cool. like the it, like it like the, I believe it was like up like this, and then it like snapped in half. Yeah. Oh, like it went up the iceberg? No, no, no. Like it, like it, it like started a thing. So like they the water over it. So, sorry, sorry, so no, like was, the water sorry, started to sick. fill the bottom, and so then the 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 uh, ship started to go like this. Oh. And then the weight of that snapped it in half. Damn. And so there was people like hanging, and then it snapped in. So you're like, I mean, people were probably getting fucking destroyed and they're all in For their sure. like 1920s outfits yeah, yeah that had to be the hardest part they of were swimming just so, heavy. The fucking so heavy in those dresses they were just on, on vacation no. no no they weren't cruising they were, they were going from america to england england to america they were immigrating yeah oh i thought it was like a party it was they would party that's how they traveled but I, I thought that a lot of them were like rich people uh some of them were some of them were poor people they were going from a, they were going from where to where uh, England to America. Were Jack like and Rose English? British? No, they were American. Jack and Rose. Uh, Rose was American. So was Jack. Jack was Irish. He didn't have an Irish accent. Yeah, he didn't have an Irish okay, accent. Okay, well, he also didn't exist. <laughs> but I feel like most We've of the people on this. the boat were American in the movie. In the movie. Okay, yeah. Because it was I don't filmed think, in America. I don't think that they were just immigrating. I think that it was a part. It was like a. Matt, it was you like don't the know anything time. you're talking about. <laughs> I don't. What year was but it? Uh, 1923. 1923. 1912. Okay. Yeah, whatever, pigs. I'm <laughs> never listening to him ever again. <laughs> How is this yeah, yeah. Well, you know why? Because I'm comfortable knowing things. Yeah. And I don't go, uh-oh, I don't know any of that. It's and a bit. I learn. Yeah, we're doing a it's bit. It's not a bit. It's, it's, a, bit. Bit. it's, it's not a bit. It's not a bit. It's literally on you. a podcast, we're doing a bit. Well, we got to get you educated. And I, that's on why what? I, educate me on what? I already educated <laughs> about <laughs> <laughs> Name one thing I don't know. T- the Titanic. I yeah. know all about it. You led me down that road on the Titanic. I know. I, I probably did know, know that you fucking gaslit me through not knowing shit. Comfortable lying. <laughs> You're very comfortable <laughs> it lying. It was acting the whole time. Yeah. I was acting. You were. Um, 
here's the thing. I might not know facts, but yeah. I can walk into a room and I know everything that's going on. Yeah. Okay. I can see Colton and I was like. You can read a room. I can read a person and mm-hmm. I know exactly what's going on with them. Okay. And I can see that. And that's actually helpful for the community. Sure. No, you're a communal man. They pass you around. Like Communion. A, like a little pig. No, now I have a headache. Oh. Okay. Well, should we end it? Yeah, let's. Um, hmm. there's there's anything anything Matt, thank up. you for joining us on the couch. You're welcome. Even yeah. though you were like kind of making assumptions that we were going to try to have sex with you, I think that if we kept going, you probably would have tried. That's crazy. Did you ever get a text back from Tony? No. ZB. What is the background on your phone? My dad. Just his mouth? Yeah, I zoom in up. Mouth? I zoom in on people's face because I think it's funny. Oh. <laughs> what if do I look know, at your? Do phone you know the word bourgeois? bourgeois? My bourgeois? No, him. Does he know the word bourgeois? bourgeois. Is bourgeois. there something about like pussy? Yep. Bourgeois? <laughs> I have a uh, an app on my phone that tells me different words that I already know. Is that like when girls are like, you want some of this bourgeois? Yeah. No, you're thinking of punani. Oh, yeah. punani. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a girl, I'd be like, who wants some punani tonight? Punani. You're confusing the word bourgeois <laughs> with punani. 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 If I was a girl, I'd like <laughs> stick my vape in my pussy and be like, ooh. I what's think you think of bajingo. Do you think I'd be a whore if I was a girl? Yes. Oh my God! You would be disgusting. No, you would be tied up in a fucking. Ro- you would be like a. You would be a glory hole girl. Uh, glory sure. hole girl. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Where are those girls? That's a great question. <laughs> where <laughs> are they? Wait, wait, and I mean, there's no girls behind the glory hole. <laughs> there are on some of them on the videos I watch. Yeah, are. those are fake. Where? Yeah, because where? No there's girl, no glory no hole. No girl has a glory hole set up in her house. Yeah. They, they, there are. I have a friend. That we all know, and I would love to tell you his name afterwards, but I will not say it right now. That d- met a girl on a dating app and went over to her house like hours after matching with her. And she was like, We can't have sex, whatever, but I like, I'm like a dominatrix. I have this weird thing. We're going to start out by you putting your dick through a glory hole. And she wheeled out just a wall with a hole in it in her house. I can't. <laughs> we have to end the podcast because I have to know who this is. Yeah, I'll yeah. You. I also want to know if she built it. Oh, or I'm she, sure she did. Or, or she did got she someone somebody else, else to build it. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, all right, that's a good wall. Now, can yeah. you just drill a hole through this? <laughs> yeah, and also, I want to know about, because I always, I always thought it was crazy that glory hole walls would just be like a hole cut out. I'd want like some rubber trim. I would it. too. I, I think about that every time I see those videos because it, it, it's a it's a very rough edge. Yeah. You cut a hole in a wall. Yeah, also, yeah. Then, and then you see the ones with the sheet and it's like, you're not protected. Yeah. I want like at least felt. <laughs> you're not protected. Like, like felt around yeah. the hole. From felt them is a great idea. Them, I, I'd feel like a fucking prince you. in that one. <laughs> them getting to you? Yeah. So like Ooh. what if they get scary? So you want the glory hole. It's like, oh, sorry, the door's locked. If you're afraid of the person on the other side getting scary, the last thing you want to stick through there is your dick. <laughs> right. No, I meant the opposite. Like, I, oh, sorry. I was the one on the other side of the glory hole. I was the dominatrix. Oh. Picturing that. So, like, <laughs> this is my. This is Wait, my, you think the guy. He's an oral bottom. You think, an oral bottom. You think the guy that's putting his dick through is going to try to put his hand through and pull you through like Space Jam? Yo, <laughs> like straight through dudes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight dudes get crazy after they come. I do you like the idea through? of felt. I'd feel like, like the. Felt would pr- feel good. The prince's shoes, velvet yeah. shoes. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I'm afraid the that the felt would feel so good. I wouldn't worry about the mouth anymore, and I just rub my dick on the felt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, hey, can you stop? Like, do you even care enough? if I'm here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave. Yeah. What? Leave. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> that would be fun. They, uh, what I thought saw was uh, a glory hole, like, like sh- uh, not a hole, but oh, like, like a guillotine. A, no, like a like a little like oh, mailbox, like a, like, a latch? like a mailbox, like a and it was for it was password. for getting fucked in there. Oh, I don't like. Oh, that. you put your butt up to it. Yeah, so it had like yeah, yeah, but it had like two like holes for you could so you can like put your hands in there on the side, but it was like a mailbox. I saw I'm gonna it. bring something to the podcast next week that's not sexual. Oh, I think I know. I think I see what you're saying. Where because you would have to put your hands through t- for some traction. Yeah. I always imagine when you see the videos where they are fucking and the girls are just sitting there and the guy's moving, they have to have like handlebars or something on the other side of the, that he's holding yeah, on yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you can't just with nothing. It's it's a feat of engineering yeah. is what it is. Yeah. Unless he's just got calves like a fucking stallion. <laughs> you got to have something to hold on to. You got nice calves. I have the best calves in Austin. <laughs> Voted? <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
I just got some python boots for the first time. Do you own cowboy boots? No. Do you own cowboy boots? No, I, I actually despise the idea of wearing cowboy boots. I just, you, know, you look like a fool in them. <laughs> You're, you despise the idea of me wearing yeah. them? You motherfucker. Actually, I feel like you could wear cowboy boots more than he could. Yeah, yeah. I look like a fucking... Tr- I feel like you just <laughs> keep on turning. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, ooh, Nipple boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My thing would I, just, I would just put them on things. Well, my my thing is that my my dad was a literal cowboy, so it it kind of hurts me when I see people that you know just like work at Google wearing yeah. cowboy boots. Yeah. I I need to see a picture of your dad. Wait, you said literal cowboy? Yeah, he was a he, like he did cows. He roped. He was a bull rider, and he worked on a ran- like he was a ranch hand, like like herding and and. Did you learn any horses. cow skills? No, he oh. kept he kept us very far away from it. It's a hard well, life, right? Do you did he ever teach you how to rope? Did he ever rope you like a pig? My uncle one time it was one of my favorite and earliest memories. What me and our whole family it was like me and both my brothers and a cousin were, uh, well, we were on vacation. I think we were here in Texas, and he like ro- he like hog tied us. What he like chased us around, and he like had a I can't remember okay? what he was doing it with. And he and he he would like catch us like we would yeah, run yeah, around yeah, yeah, yeah. and he would like catch us and come up to us and it was like so funny to watch him do it to like my brother yeah, yeah and yeah. then he would get me and I was like this is the most terrifying hurts. oh yeah 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 <laughs> that rope yeah. hurts a lot yeah my dream and I I feel like it's a very attainable dream but first I haven't done it yet is to ride a horse with a arch like speed. a bow and fucking shoot watermelon I have that dream as well I just want to uh, shoot watermelon yeah. with a fucking cr- uh, like samurai bow. I want I want to ride a, a horse at full speed. I've Agreed. never done that, and it looks fucking so bareback. Cool. I've done it. No, not bareback. I don't do you bare can't back. do it bareback. I can. <laughs> you. I've cannot. done it. Very scary. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's that's kind of the cool thing about it. It's got to be very exhilarating. It is. You're like. I feel so to, powerful. Like, if it's basically like you have to ride it exactly, and if you are off beat for a second, then your body collides with the horse right. going forward, and yeah. you're like, holy fuck. Yeah. Is it, but guys look so hot when they're on horses. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I have a migraine. <laughs> you have a migraine? Yeah, my whole eye is like blowing up. Mine is kind of doing that too. I kind of, but I woke up with it. But I mine, mine did, is kind of going into my eye as well. I'm like, it's really killing me. Oh I'm bummer. Just not well, about it. yeah, that's my thing. Is like, I'm also going through it, but I'm just not telling everybody about it. I know. I'm, I feel like I'm like slowly dying over here. I'm like. God. I can't think of new. It's the new facts that you're learning. You knew two new facts I haven't today. Eaten anything uh, yeah today as well. So that's okay. a problem. Okay. Well, I bet that's it. I'm gonna eat something. I gotta, we gotta go. Okay. Well, next week uh, I'm gonna quit vaping. Me too. Well, actually, next week we got a very fun guest, Morgan Gallo. Yeah. Uh, this week was just a catch up. This, this one was just for friends. Oh yeah. Family. Next week you have a really fun guest. You're not a guest. You're the producer. You, well, we didn't. We thought you were going to be sitting over there the whole time with the camera, I, I but you refuse to Kathy. be on camera unless you're on the couch. <clears throat> right. Well, that's not a very. There's. No, that's not a very good angle. Like the, it doesn't look good over there. That's that's kind of the you issue. Stop it. You. You're doing this on purpose. You no, I look purpose. good. I'm saying that area doesn't okay. look. Okay. You well, we'll I mean? see you next week. Say bye to Matt. Bye, Say, Matt. Bye to me. I'm, I'm mentioned the people. Please oh. follow Matt at what? Um, Matt X Boyd. That exploit. Thank you to our fans. Cool to know you mad at me. Yeah, but I'll get over it. Okay, as I always do. So, oh, this is bad. So, but this is bad. So, but this is bad. So, but this is bad. Yeah. to drag out horse. No.